It's one of Africa's finest. It stretches for 350 kilometers with 150 mammal species, 380 varieties of trees and over 700 bird, reptile, fish and amphibian species. This is the Kruger National Park. This is adventure. Bordered by two countries, Kruger National Park was proclaimed in 1898 as the Sabi Game Reserve by the then Transvaal Republic to preserve the rich biodiversity in the northeastern reaches of South Africa. Paul Kruger, the then President of the Republic, had his dream come true when the Shingwedzi Reserve and the original Sabi Game Reserve merged to create the Kruger National Park in 1926. This vast area is world-renowned for its game and nature viewing game drives and first-class accommodation. Within the borders of Mpumalanga and the Limpopo provinces, Kruger boasts four regions found between major rivers in the park. It also boasts an amazing variety of flora, fauna and vistas of the African bush that stretch towards Mozambique in the east and Zimbabwe in the north. In excess of one million guests visit Kruger every year. In the northeast of the park, an even more colossal wilderness area is being developed in the form of the Greater Limpopo Transfrontier Park that includes Mozambique's Limpopo National Park and Zimbabwe's Gonorezo. Kruger is set to be part of the largest transfrontier park in Africa on completion of all phases. Kruger offers visitors an excellent wilderness experience and incredible close encounters with the Big Five, elephant, rhino, buffalo, lion and leopard in a natural, unfenced environment. Wild dog, cheetah, zebra, giraffe and a variety of other species are also indigenous to the park. Kruger National Park is a bird watcher's haven as the variety of habitat and botanic diversity lends itself to hosting over 500 bird species. Due to the sheer size of the park, there are nine entry points to allow easy access from Johannesburg. There is also an airstrip for chartered flights at Skakuza and three national airports surrounding the park. Kruger provides superb adventure activities. First and foremost, visitors worldwide can experience self-drive game viewing, field guide-led game drives and walks, wilderness trails and mountain bike trails. The 4x4 enthusiast can take on one of five overland adventure trail experiences. A host of other activities can be found at specific camps and lodges. There are more than 25 rest camps, bush camps and luxury lodges in the park and these include concessions with private lodges. Situated in the heart of the Malalan Mountains in the south is Birkendal Rest Camp. This modern camp and conference venue on the banks of the Majulu Spruit is a good area for leopard and rhino sightings. The three-day Bushman Wilderness Trail in the area takes one back in time to the rock art and prehistory of the sand people who lived in harmony with nature. The spectacular granite outcrops near Pretoriaskop are known for their geological beauty and variety. The Albaceni ruins near Pabeni Gate are not to be missed for their historical value. Skukuza is Kruger's largest rest camp and the park's headquarters. Lofty trees and soft green foliage create a haven along the southern banks of the Savi River. A library, museum, bush breakfasts, guided bushwalks, a game of golf and three swimming pools will keep any visitor busy. The Papenfuss clock tower and the Salati railway with the station and old train are part of the historical heritage of the area and is a popular site for the history enthusiast. Crocodile Bridge is a small and delightful camp situated on the northern bank of the Crocodile River in the southeast. The area boasts the largest percentage of Kruger's rhino population. The remains of the old bridge, once part of the Salati Railway to Skakuza, crosses the Crocodile River. On the banks of the Sabi River and shaded from the relentless African sun by the majestic sycamore fig, marula and sausage trees, Lower Sabi Camp is a haven for game viewing. Several dams can be visited in the Lower Sabi area, including the Sunset Dam, that is one of the finest venues in Kruger for sighting a remarkable variety of water birds. 
The hidden jewel in the south is the smaller yet most beautiful Biamiti bush camp. Nestled under huge jackalberry and fig trees, Biamiti is the game spotter's dream come true. In the central region of the Kruger, one finds Orpen Rest Camp. This camp serves as a gate to the central region and is surrounded by open savanna plains. A superb hunting ground for the cheetah, lion and leopard and a great region for close encounters with elephant and giraffe. Close to the camp, Rabelais Hut and several picnic sites in the area are well worth visiting. Satara is a busy camp and not without reason. Situated in an excellent game viewing area, the camp is wooded and a bird watcher's paradise. The rustic charm extends to include a cafeteria, laundromat, fuel stop and shop with many other facilities. Visit one of the first Satara Ranger's graves or many of the watering holes in the area for unparalleled game sightings. Close to Orpen, smaller bush lodges, Marula and Tambuti, offer a close to nature relaxed experience in tented camp and caravan accommodation near the eastern border of the park. Talamati Bushveld Camp has a watering hole right in front of the camp that can offer magnificent sightings of the Big Five 24 hours a day. On the route to Ulifants, stop off for the night at the delightful Rudeval Bush Lodge for great hospitality and prime nighttime game viewing. Towering 80 meters above the Ulifants River is Ulifants Rest Camp. It offers unmatched views of Africa from the lookout points in the camp. One can also get great sightings of hippo in the life-giving Ulifants River from the Nwamwanzi or Ulifants lookout point. Exhilarating mountain bike trails can be taken from Ulifants that will bring you up close to nature while providing all the excitement mountain biking has to offer. Enter the park at Palabora Gate and enjoy the Masserini archaeological site with prehistoric settlement finds and ruins. Relax and have a picnic at the lookout point. To offer visitors a truly wild experience, the Sable and Shippendani Sleepover Hides offer a chance to sleep outside a rest camp and enjoy privacy as well as good animal and bird sightings. On a sweeping bend of the Lataba River lies Lataba Camp. This is most definitely elephant country. The rest camp is a green oasis in the surrounding Mopani felt. An excellent location for bushbuck and elephant sightings. The camp also offers an elephant museum, waiting to enrich your knowledge of these majestic creatures. Historians must visit Anna Liederboer's grave and the Charles Engelhardt plaque on the tranquil Engelhardt Dam. The northern region is also home to Shimuwini, Balule and Boulders bush camps. This region is well known for its historical artifacts and massive baobab trees that stretch into the Lubombo Mountains bordering Mozambique. The far northern region of the Kruger National Park, in the heat of the African Mopani bush, elephant, buck and the spotted hyena roam free. The African rock python and the giant eagle owl are frequent sightings on drives along the Shingwezi River and Kanidruk Dam. Shingwezi and the Mopani rest camps offer a host of activities that include bird hides for eager bird watchers and night drives in the warm, balmy evenings followed by gourmet meals at restaurants like Shingwezi's Inyati restaurant. Bush camps, Battalia, named after the Battalia Eagle, and Sireni have river frontage that weaves through woodland savanna, a perfect hunting ground for leopards. Blue wildebeest, impala and hippo can also be seen traversing the region. Stop off at the lookout point at Red Rocks on the road to Battalier. Situated not far from Punda Gate, a major entrance point to the far north region is Punda Maria Rest Camp, which offers an out of Africa experience. True zebra country, many other game species like buffalo, impala and eland compete for center stage with a prolific bird life. Close to the northern border of Kruger, one can enter at Pafuri Gate and stay nearby at Pafuri Camp. The area boasts the Tulamela archaeological site. These restored ruins give a fascinating glimpse into life in Africa 400 years ago. With over 4,500 beds throughout the park, there is accommodation to suit everyone's taste and requirements. Campsites can cater for tents and caravans and offer well-appointed clean shower and toilet facilities. 
huts on the budget scale are surprisingly comfortable and offer an excellent night's rest. Safari tented camps have become more and more popular in Kruger and South African national parks all over. Popular permanent raised tents in the tented camps offer a real up-close and personal experience with nature while still offering a varying degree of comfort and luxury. Bungalows offer space and variety in size and comfort and are very popular in all rest camps. Guest cottages are an option not to be overlooked as they offer kitchens and ensuite bathrooms for sizable families and groups. For those with a taste for luxury, guest houses can be found throughout the park at major rest camps. These fully equipped guest houses provide excellent accommodation for large groups and parties wanting well-appointed rooms with ensuite bathrooms. Humans are only visitors in this rugged terrain, where animals roam free and rule the wild. Kruger's main gates and camp gates have opening and closing times that must be strictly adhered to for your safety and that of the animals. A vast and beautiful land. Kruger National Park, a magnificent African adventure. Thank you.